All right, so then we get another advanced concept, which is short circuiting. You also, you also often see this in React. We have the AND logical operator, right? So what we can say here is, right, let's say we have some kind of variable price. If price is more than 500 and price is less than 2000, right? Maybe we want to log something, right? So here we're going to log hello, right? Because price is more than 5000 and it's less than 2000. So this is true and the second operand is true as well. So both operands are true. So this entire thing becomes, right? And so we go in this block. That's how the logical AND operator works. Now, what, how it also works is, let's say, if we do this, so it's going to check if the price price is more than 5,000. So 1,000 is greater than 5,000. This is false. And if this is false, the ampersand, we're not even going to run this second operand. Right? So with ampersand, it both have to be true in order for the total thing to be true. So if it, if it sees that the first one is already false, it already knows, well, I should, this whole thing should become false. And the opposite is also true. So uh, let's see. So if we do this, so if the first operand is true, so here we we say the thousand is greater than five hundred. This is true. Then it will always run or sort of return whatever the value of this second operand is. Because if the first one is true and the second one is true as well, well, it will be true. The overall thing will be true. But if the first one is true and the second one is false, the overall thing will be false, right? So once the first one is true, it's the second operand that basically decides whether the whole thing is true or false. That's what it comes down to. And so actually with the logical AND, what it does is if the first one is true, it's just going to return whatever uh, the result of the second operand is. And because of that mechanism, people often use it in certain uh, contexts, especially in React, I've seen it a lot. But what you can do, for example, is you can say if price is more than 500, which is true, uh, then we can use this uh, logical AND operator to do something when that is true. So maybe we can even do something like this. I right? just log something. And this looks very strange, but you have to remember if this is true, it's just going to, it's just going to do whatever the second operand is, because if the second operand, the, the result of the second operand is what usually will determine the whole thing. So it's just going to run the second operand. Um, in this, that's just, that's just how it works. So if we do this, you can see it logs this number here. Right. As long as this is true, it will always run this second part here. Right. And if this is false, it's not even going to run the second one. Right. So then it's short circuiting. It's not even. It's not even going to go there. It's just going to stop it. Right. It's short circuit. Right. So here, if the price is more than a five thousand, this is false. So it's not even going to run the second part. Right. So here, when I refresh, we get nothing. Right. So this is short circuiting with the logical AND operator, and it's the same thing with the with the OR operator. So here. Let me undo this. Here it will always return the first one that is true. So here we can say if the price is more than 500, console log this. So here what's going to happen is it's going to check is 1000 greater than 500, which is true. And since with OR you only need one to be true in order for the entire thing to be true, if the first one is already true, it will just stop there. It will short circuit. And so here it's not going to log that because the first one is already true. However, if the first one is false, it will always give us whatever the second one one, right? So it's just, it's just going to run the second part, essentially. It doesn't short circuit, right? So then we always get the second part. It's actually the inverse of ampersand. And in practice, people use the ampersand a little bit more, so the logical AND operator. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.